Hello. Mike's muted. Am I no audio connecting to that? Hello, everybody. I'm connecting my ear AirPods. One second. Just to open. Okay. Hello. Mm. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. It's working on my yeah. AirPods here. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, uh, Zoom people. I can hear you guys. Don't worry. I'm just working on some stuff. What's up, Emma? Hello. Hi, YouTube. So wait a second uh, of slack. I'm just out. Yeah. Hello? Oh, uh, I mean we can't open the school cannot open at second on second of June. No, it can't. <laughs> Why you open second of June? <laughs> uh, we we won't open on the on the second of June. Sorry, it'll probably be July. July. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. Hope so. Okay. Yeah, I guess I guess it'll be in in July that we'll be able to open. Hello. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get my my headphones to work, but they're not working. So. Well, I, might, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So so the, the quarantine is until to July? No. <clears throat> the no? the um, June, June first. June they first? will um, they will Mm, open lots of uh, activity. Oh, so no, 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 well, not not a lots of just a few things. I think. Let me show, oh, you. I'll show you right now. Yeah, yeah, you we, know. On schedule, on schedule. Mm, June first. Uh, don't worry, uh, YouTube. We're gonna get to it in a second. But yeah, so basically from June second. Um, yeah, some businesses will reopen with, of course, measures in place, which means we have to, um, you know, we have to wear masks and we have to do, um, you know, social distancing at work. Um, oh, Tracy, I don't know who that is. You know, you know, my company gonna take online class next month. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you have to, right? I mean, lucky, you know, you guys are lucky. ULC was so fast. I guess which means we will take online class uh, for long, longer time. Well, it, it, you know, here, if you look at, um, if you look at phase two, right, it'll, it'll take a few months, um, but they, they, yeah. think, they think phase one will last at least four weeks. So phase one is like preschools, if you want to get married, uh, things like that, um, household. So I can um, I can go visit my friend if I want, uh, two visitors every day. <laughs> so I can go visit, uh, which is great. Um, but then phase two, which will probably be at the beginning of July, because it says four weeks. Um, that's when enrichment tuition centers, we can open. So. ULC will probably uh, will probably open in July. I hope. Mm, yeah, I hope. But I think at the same time, hi Snower, hi S. I don't know who that is, but um, and Tracy, you're new, but you're connecting to audio. That's great. Um, but I think that uh, yeah, of course, we will keep some form of online lesson because I think some students will still be yeah will still be scared to to go out so I think yeah I must I must say you uh, will see online lesson is very good I must give a like 
Hey, you know, I have the another school also have online lesson. It's not professional. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, the teacher cannot do. They don't know how to share the screen and how to write on the screen, and oh, wow. the new teacher and cannot. The, I don't want to join. It's also oh. free, <laughs> and uh, the school. Uh, Ask you must be attend the free lesson, and you can keep your uh normal lesson. Oh. <laughs> you, found, you found you found the uh, lesson on online. Your, your yeah, it's week, not we, professional. Yeah, last week we we had a online meeting. Use you you know use Zoom as well. Yeah. So I try to I try to. Uh, shared my screen for my colleagues, but the screen was was how can I say that was frozen. You know, froze. Can cannot move. You know, I want to share with my colleagues, but but I cannot. Mm, I don't know. I I didn't know the reason why. You but, must be the hoster. You can yeah, share I, the screen. Yeah, I'm a hoster. For the meeting, and I want to, you know, we we practice to use Zoom, but sometimes yeah, we had to yeah we had to teach all of our teachers how to use Zoom and then teach them again and again mm -hmm. and again. So yeah, I, I think master study how to teach online. <laughs> Very trouble. It's, a problem. it's yeah, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. It's not I, easy. I, 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 I it's not easy for the teacher. To, yeah, it's not easy. Oh, not easy. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, it's not easy for everybody. You know, even now we have some students that you know their, you know, their audio doesn't work or their okay you know, their, their video yeah, stops all, working yeah. or you know today the I think around the island the 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 internet it wasn't so good. So I think there there were some problems there. Okay. All right. So just like normal, um, I don't know why I can't get my headphones to work. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay. Just like today, I don't know why I'm trying to connect, but they're not connecting. Mm -hmm. um, maybe my kids switch them around. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, basically today we're gonna just I kind of made a nice little. Uh, for you guys um this is not for children okay so this is not only for this is not only for students who have children so i know some of you have children some of you don't have children um hi l hello good afternoon hi how are you uh yeah very good <laughs> how are you um so again, uh, L, do you have children? Uh, yes, I have one kid. Kid, how old? Uh, he is. Uh, uh, he is a um because uh, Korean Korean is the plus one, so I, uh, I need to I need to spend in time. Yeah, do some math. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyway, no, yeah, he's is, eight. It's complicated. Okay, so he's eight. Yeah. International <laughs> age. He's eight. Okay. Perfect age. Good job. Nice. Uh, especially for this lesson. ES, I don't know who that is, but hi. Uh, Snower, hello. I know you have kids. You're the same as me. You have two daughters. Oh, Elaine. Two daughters. Oh, hi, Elaine. Same to you. Yeah. Elaine just doesn't want to show her. No, I'm outside right now. I'm actually walking home. Shouldn't be outside, Elaine. Shouldn't be outside. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. Now it's okay. Um, okay. So anyway, we're just going to go through this. Um, again, this is not just for people who have children or grandchildren or whatever. Uh, this is from, this is good from beginner to advanced. Um, definitely for a beginner. I think if you're a beginner student, uh, this is really, really good. Um, or elementary or low level student, or you struggle with picking up um, um, English. Uh, remember, right, we talked about these two things, right, our input skills and our output skills, okay, really, really important, okay, reading is important, listening is important, 
And if we can do these two things, if we can do these two things at the same time, it's also going to be really, really helpful for you guys. So, um, yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, yeah, read children's books will help you. So, of course, reading to your children will help you. Of course, one hundred percent. If you read to your kids or Susan, you have some some grandkids, right? If you if you read to your grandkids, you read English books to them, or they read English books to you super helpful okay really 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 helpful now let's talk about why, where we can find them okay where we can find children's books of course if you have kids super easy you have children's books in your house um susan i know you have children's books in your house susan i can't hear you right now it's okay um so this is one of my favorite websites getepic.com it's called epic reading or epic books um, really, really good. Because of the coronavirus, it's free until June 30th. Um, so it's free for parents. It's free for teachers. So I'm using this with our junior program. Uh, my kids go on and they read books. I can assign books to them. Um, of course, you can choose the age level. Um, but even I chose grade three, uh, which is like six, seven, eight, eight years old. Um, mm -hmm. still the books are not easy to understand okay so you know okay. not that this is so clear but you know maybe come along right so we're going to learn some phrases unk means like uncle okay mm -hmm. so we're just going to find some some nice things in those books and don't worry we're going to read an epic book together after this um so epic is a really good place so so you can i can put those i i know i forgot to put the pdf in the link last time so um I'll put the PDF on the other video, and then also I'll put the links down below for, for this video. But getepic.com, it's free. I don't make any money from Epic, so yeah, they're just giving that away for free. Uh, it's something my kid uses, and she really, really likes it. Um, yeah, of course, Mike or whoever, if you have children, Go to your go to your kids' rooms, right? They, I'm sure they have books, so they bring books home from <laughs> school. Um, it's okay to steal their books, no problem. Um, again, I think it's really important to read to your children anyway. Now, it's important to read to your children. Now, L, for example, you have an eight-year-old son. If you read to him in English, mm -hmm. he'll probably say like, mom, right? <laughs> Stop speaking English, right? Everybody's the same. So oh, no. switch the roles, right? You can read to him in Korean and he can read to you in English, right? He can help you go through those English books. Okay. Yeah. He can help you do those kinds of things. All right. Uh, of course, the library probably opening soon. I would I would think the library would be one thing that would open soon, probably in the next month. Month you, and a you half. Mean Singapore library? Yeah, Singapore Library. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's uh, of course, I don't think you can, so if you don't have a library card, then you can't take the books uh, out, but you can go there and you can read them while you're in the library. Yeah, because I have the card and I think it's it's good news for me. Yeah. If you have a card, yeah, if you have a library card in Singapore, yes. so, right? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, uh, NLB, National Library Board, has applications for your smartphone, um, for your iPad, you can also just download that. And then you can get mm -hmm. tons of books for free as well, right? So, okay. So if you have a library card in Singapore, yeah, you can you can mm -hmm. just download the NLB app and you can you can get a lot of stuff on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. nice. Um, but wait till it's open and then of course wear a mask because uh, I think <clears throat> no. even we talk about Singapore and their opening in phases, even after phase three. Uh, I, I think we're still going to have to wear masks uh, okay. because they're saying it's a new normal until we find a cure or a vaccination for coronavirus. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I have a feeling we'll be wearing masks for a long time. So, oh, uh, yeah, so buy some masks, I guess. Don't don't go crazy. Don't buy like a thousand, <laughs> buy like a couple hundred yeah, yeah. fifty or something like that. All right. So where else can we find them? Of course, Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, mm -hmm. you know, Amazon mm -hmm. is famous for books. Amazon. So Amazon. .sg, they'll deliver books in a few weeks uh, or a few days sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, not too expensive. 
six, seven, eight dollars, something like that. Uh, my Chinese student, you can probably just order from Taobao, much cheaper. Uh, <laughs> it'll, take, it'll take a lot longer to come <laughs> to Singapore. So uh, if, if you want to order books on Amazon, of course, you can do that. Um, it's, it's free. Usually shipping is free, um, but the books are not free. And then last thing, you're here right now, some of you, four of you, only four of you, I don't know if it's not a popular topic, um, YouTube, right? There's tons YouTube. of pieces. Yeah, we can watch famous people read children's books, right? So I don't know if you know who this is. This is Jimmy Fallon. He, oh, Jimmy Fallon, yeah. yeah. He's a night show host on TV. And uh, yeah, you know, he, he's reading children's books. Why? I don't know, but he is. Um, but there's tons of children's books online. You know, this, for example, this is my daughter's favorite or used to be my daughter's oh. like nighttime book, right? Good night, sleep tight. Mm -hmm. Good night, 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 sleep tight. Good night, sleep tight. You know, it's like books. Good night, sleep tight. Mm -hmm. And I can just go to YouTube and I can find them reading this. Uh, I got it from the library. <laughs> so yeah, one of their, one of their favorite books. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, you know, and that's just a bunch of fairy tales or, or not fairy tales, but um, common uh, bedtime story for children. Um, yeah, so YouTube, that's free. That's great. It's good. Good free. Um, okay, so that's kind of where we can find children's books. I mean, there's millions of other places, bookstores, you know, Kenya, uh, once it opens, uh, of course, you can find children's books everywhere. If you don't have kids, probably not a good idea you know, to just buy some children's books, but why not? Um, also, okay. Um, I think definitely, and we're going to look at Epic a little bit and why, uh, why I think Epic is, is really, really good for you guys, because you can like click on the words and you can find, um, uh, you can click on the words and it'll give you definitions and things like that. So, uh, Dorian, we'll go through that in a second. All right, so why children's books? Okay, this is kind of, especially for beginner or elementary or pre-intermediate, if you have a low level um, English speaker or a low level student, they have pictures, right? So again, when we talked about like input output, you know, if we're, if we're listening to something, if we're reading something, if we're seeing something, you know, that's gonna help us remember English better, right? It's just, that's how our children learn that's how, you know, that's how we learn when we watch movies or our kids watch movies. You know, we're watching and we're reading and we're kind of taking all that information in at the same time. Now, one thing I didn't talk about during this lesson, which was the yeah, how to acquire English lesson. If you want to watch that, you can go to YouTube. Um, was that if you have an English partner, like someone whose English is better than you. So again, this could be your child. Okay, because you're eight year old or you're nine year old, if they're going to international school or local school, I'm sorry, but their English is better than yours. Okay, which is okay. <laughs> wrong with that, right? But so they can help you, right? They can help you look at the picture, right? Kind of tell you what's going on. They can they can describe the picture to you. Oh, this is an old man. He's talking on the phone and he's yelling to his wife or yelling to his kids his children, he has three children, they're asking questions. We can go really, really deep, right? Oh, she's wearing a pink clothes, he's wearing a red t-shirt, blue shorts, right? We can go deeper into the description. Oh, here's a tree. This is one of my favorite books, by the way, Baron Steen Bears when I was a kid. Um, and this is on Epic, you can find this there. Um, oh, they live in a tree house. So all these different things, all these different words are really gonna help you. And before you know, before you read, you can look at the pictures and you can try to guess, try to guess what, what is the book about? What, what is this page going to describe? And that'll just, again, like we talked about, um, you know, thinking in English is really, really important. Um, you know, when we think in English, that helps us to, you know, develop our fluency. So if we're looking at pictures and we're thinking about those pictures, that's going to help us develop that English as well. Okay. Um, this power, this presentation is not so long, so don't worry. We'll get into a book in a second. Um, so native English.
phrases and vocabulary. Okay, so I know that, um, you know, something like this. These books are really, really famous. I don't know if you know these books, but they're yes. like excellent. Okay, so like the Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Series. Mr. Tricky. I, Mr. Tickle. Tickle. Uh, Mr. Tickle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Mr. Tickle, right? So even though this is a children's book, okay, um, right, the words are not so easy to understand, right? But at the same time, we see pictures. It has words like extraordinary, um, stretched, enormous, yawn. Okay, a lot of different words that we that we don't usually see in English textbooks or in English class, right? So you're going to get a lot of like natural natural English from these books, right? So here, this, this book again is for grade three. So that's like eight or nine years old. So L, probably your kid would be reading something like this. Um, now, I just randomly chose this book, but this is chapter one. But basically, does anyone know, except for maybe the advanced students, do you know what guacamole is? Yes, I know. I said not the advanced students. Okay. <laughs> Yukiko, what is guacamole? No. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Hell, do you know guacamole? No. Lay, Emma? No. No. Okay. So guacamole is like a dipping, a dipping sauce. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know. Mexican. Like Mexican. So, uh, with Mexican. avocado? Yeah, uh, avocado, tomato, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salt, pepper, mm. lemon juice, right? Yes. That's guacamole, right? Uh, so again, we know what that is. If I ask you, if I show you a picture, mm. I show you a picture of guacamole, you'll be like, yeah, mm -hmm. I know what that is. You'll know what that is in Korean and Chinese and Japanese, right? Yeah. But you maybe you don't know what it is in English, right? So again, reading these children's books, really really going to help you just naturally kind of kind of put that together okay so this the the chapter title is for the love of guacamole so as we read this chapter we're going to kind of learn what is guacamole or and we're going to kind of learn around that and we're going to learn it naturally again i don't want you guys we talked about this with reading other books same as children's books don't try to translate every single word as you're reading it right I don't want to go through, we want to tick the words we don't know, you know, we can read with a pencil or, you know, or a notebook and you can write it down, it's fine as you're reading, but again, we just want to read it, try to understand what's going on in the book first, and then once we understand that, then we can go down slower, deep, deeper and deeper, okay, remember I told you, right, outside in, okay, so we start, we read the whole page first, right, then maybe we read each paragraph, Okay, and then we can go into kind of the different the different words that we might not know, right? Okay, so Maddie watched uh, B enter the hive. So if you don't, you know, if we say Maddie watched a B enter the hive, if we don't know what hive means, right? We can kind of guess, right? Because we know what a B is. And again, our children, right? When they're reading these books, they don't, they don't check their dictionary. Mm. Mm. They yeah. just read it. And they read it and they don't check their dictionary. They don't check every word. Because why would you do that? It's not efficient and it doesn't work. But don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop no. doing it. If you are going to check a dictionary, English, English, or slap you. Okay. I won't slap you. Just All right. So words like guacamole, hive, assume, right? He paused on the ledge, right? So, you know. He's on the ledge and he stopped, he paused, right? He paused, he waited, he hesitated, right? So, you know, that's not a common English phrase, but it just is a phrase. You know, he lifted a shoulder, like, huh? Like, what? Or lifted a shoulder, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. We can kind of imagine what's going on. Now, of course, this book doesn't have pictures. So this is a higher level. So my upper intermediate students, my intermediate students, this would be something that would be okay for you guys. Um, yeah. yeah, this. You know what nectar this, is? Like this children's food. book is too difficult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more difficult. <laughs> I know. Don't worry, it's not difficult. If you just read it and you understand and you read through the whole book, you kind of understand the story, right? Your children read yeah. this book. They don't I, understand these words. 
Yeah, but I but mean, you can imagine, two, I mean, two new words, new vocabulary. That's okay. Mm -hmm. New is good, right? If you mm -hmm. if it's not new, then you're not going to learn. Yeah. New is good. Yeah. Good. But the Maybe point story is, is not... read it and try to understand it and try to <sighs> absorb yeah. it. Yeah. And Mike, I'll show you on Epic in a second why this is so good. All right. Uh, nectar is just sweet stuff from a flower or a tree. Okay. Uh, intently means like, wow, paying attention. You're intently <laughs> listening. You're listening. Too much. And then, like, Work. what are you waiting for? I say mm -hmm. that probably every day to my kids. Mm -hmm. Like, and my do your homework. What are you waiting for? Do your homework. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you waiting for? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I everybody, I, I every day said my son, why are you I am waiting for? Yeah. Hurry up, hurry okay, up. Okay. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, quickly. Right. Um, what what is lifted on shoulder? Just like to lift your shoulder. So lift your shoulder. Lift your shoulder. Oh, just lift the shoulder is like shrug. this. Shrug. Is nothing. Yeah, I like shrug. Yeah, shrug. like shrug. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Just, uh, just express an uh, emotion. Yeah, just express an emotion, right? So again, right, Mike, exactly, it's nothing. It doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't help you understand the story any better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't understand this phrase. You don't need to stop and be like, what does this mean? Go to Google, check the meaning, right? Oh my God, I don't understand, right? Because then you're gonna stop reading the book and that's not good, right? So we just want to keep reading the book. We want to understand the general idea first. Yeah. Super, super, mm. super important. Okay. English mm -hmm. phrases. Okay. And then, uh, and don't worry, we're going to read a book together now. Um, but combining two skills, really, really important. Reading and listening. If you can put those two together. Reading uh, and listening at the same time. And remember English because that's, yeah, that's how it works. Uh, that's how our kids learn. Uh, we read books to them so they understand because we're reading to them. They're listening. They're seeing the words, even though they don't understand what the words mean when they're babies, when they're one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, they pick that up. Adults are the same. They are the same. I promise. Adult learns the same as a child. Just we forget. We forget how to learn. Okay, and that's not good. All right, so we are going to jump over to Epic here, which is here. Now, uh, this is my, yeah, this is my, my students. Okay. You maybe don't want to see their names, but <clears throat> all right. If I, I, look at... I actually performed in a theater and I was the Red Riding Hood. <laughs> you, you performed in the theater, you were Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Uh, all right, so Epic. Okay, Epic is, you know, they have all, they have books, they have videos if you want to watch, if you're lazy, right? If you, they have Read to Me, okay, they have audiobooks, which is just listening. Mm -hmm. And again, this is totally free, and I don't make any money from this. Um, mm -hmm. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, so Read to Me, so for example, I can choose a bunch of different books. Okay, there's 90 different books here. Uh, anybody? Okay, so maybe this is the one that we were looking at just now. Bring back the bees, okay? <coughs> so the beautiful thing about this, all right, is we can listen and read at the same time. Chapter one, for the love of guacamole. Through the glass, Maddie watched a bee enter the hive. Another bee exited. At least she assumed it was a new one. Okay. So now I don't know, for example, I'm reading first and listening first, but if I read the whole book first and I go back and read it again, because we're good students and we like to repeat what we do because repetition is really, really important when we learn something. Remember? Yes. Yes, teacher. I remember. Good. Um, so for example, I don't know what this word means. Hive, right? 
I can click on that. Hive. Wow, nice. <gasps> Hive. I can listen oh. to the pronunciation. Oh, okay, that's a good. I'm talking about a bee. Of course, there are different meanings. So a container for housing honeybees, probably not. Uh, oh, right. The container like for housing. Okay. Right? But there's also another honey. meaning for hive. The uh, which is uh, you get the disease, not disease, the uh, you know, the itchiness in your body. That's not hive, that's called hives. Hives, yeah, with the S. Hives. So it's different for me. Yeah. You, so, put, you put arrow on the article, they, they, dis, they, ex, they, they can give you an explanation. Yeah, in English. Oh, so yeah. So she stared, she stared, okay, if we don't know what stare means, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. like, the means like staring, like, like at stare. one. To look hard at someone, it also gives you the stare. Stare, stare, stare. Okay, um, but yeah, to look at someone and then yeah, intently, stare. right? Intently, right? We have intention. Focus on something, intentionally. Focus strongly or some Focus. attention, right? So mm -hmm. eager attention. Okay, so now again, I don't want you guys doing that. If you're reading a book and you go to Epic later and you sign up for a free uh, parent uh, account, um, I don't want you guys to check every word as you're reading because that's not good for you, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what I want you to do is, now this book is really, really long. It's kind of a bad, bad choice. But Chapter one. For you know, we can keep reading. We can read through. We Chapter one. For the love of guacamole. If I don't want to listen, I can just read through the book, okay? I can just read through the book. Again, this is hard. This is upper intermediate, advanced, right? If we want to look at something a bit easier, okay? Of course, you can search, search by age or by reading level, okay? A, B, C, mm -hmm. D, E, F, G, okay? So, like, my kid, she's six years old. She's in, like, the... Um, L to O or I to L range. So if you're a beginner, uh, you probably want to go in like A to D, right? So there's nothing here because it's for three years old. So, I, or sorry, I, I chose grade three. So that's why it's not there. Um, so, okay. So this is the lowest level we can find. Okay. So that was the lowest level. That's bad news. Um, but if we want to look at, ah, that's because it's chapter books. Chap. Okay. So listen and read along. We can choose a bunch of these different things. Okay, we can choose. Okay. Um, okay. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. A lot of cute things in here. Ah, Curious George, that's famous. Mm. Right. Um, so we can read and listen. This is George. He lived in Africa. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Okay, I don't know what curious means, so, so I can click on that word again. Curious. Eager to learn, right? Visitive, so there's another new word. So we haven't even talked about that in terms of like vocabulary building. If we check the English English Dictionary and we find another word we don't know, beautiful. Now I know two words. Nice. Oh. So inquisitive just means curious. I'm asking questions I want to know about those things. So these are all just different ways that we can learn and we can learn through children's oh. books. This is not an easy word. No. Right? You won't see this in a beginner or an elementary, even probably you'll see it maybe pre-intermediate textbook, right? It's not an I'm easy I'm a curious word. person. Uh, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> no, you are. Right. So yeah, this, this book's gonna be a little bit easier, right? This book's gonna be a little bit easier for us. Um, but at the same time, when I was a kid, I read these all the time. I picked it up, put it on, right? We're learning phrasal verbs. Or we're learning things, um, you know, popped him into a bag. just means put him into a bag, right? The man yeah. picked him up and popped him into a bag. Again, if we don't know what that means, you know, we can look at this picture and be like, oh, yeah, okay. He put him in the bag, right? So that's yeah. kind of how we start to kind of understand what's going on. So maybe, maybe like I told you, we look at the pictures first. And we try to guess what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so the man grabbed the monkey, 
and then he put him in a bag, right? And then as oh. we read, we go, popped him in a bag, right? But we already thought about the picture. Ah, popped him in a bag means put yeah. him in a bag, right? So oh. I can pop something. Very in good picture. idea. Right? I mean, learn really English, clear. not not without, just without, so textbook. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's not just for kids. And again, it's, it's how kids learn. Um, it's how... Our, you know, we tell our children to read books. Maybe we don't read books. Um, normal for, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's. I think it's very good for how can I say life English. Yeah. Yeah. Natural kind of learning English, learning yeah. English naturally. Yeah. Really, yeah. really. Important. All right. Then you'll be absorbed in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll absorb the English, right? I promise you, if you do this for a few months, right? You start reading children's books. And again, our kids, what do they do? They read the same book again and again and again, right? I mean, mm -hmm. as a parent, it's annoying, right? Because I have to read my daughter the same book 500 times, um, which is not, not exciting for me, right? Um, but for her, you know, she loves it, and that's how that's how she's going to pick up that language. That's how she's going to learn. There's, the, you yeah. know, there's no other way. That's how kids learn. So why not follow our children? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, by the way, I have a question about pick up. For example, if somebody asks me, where did you pick up your English? And it just means you learned language, not, I mean, not from school. Maybe it's just from uh, in practice. Is this right? I mean, yeah, exactly. So to to pick something up means to acquire, right? So we learned that word before, right? You know, mm. to acquire means okay, yeah. Pick up. Now, pick up is one of the most difficult English words or phrases or phrasal verbs mm -hmm. because it has like five hundred meanings. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I can pick up my pen. Uh, yeah. My daughter up, right? I can pick her up. I can also go to school and I can, I can pick her mm -hmm. up. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of different meanings for, yeah. for pick up. So, but yeah, if we pick up a language, right? So most of my Chinese, I never really went to a Chinese school. Um, so I just kind of picked it up, right? Or my Korean, right? Mm -hmm. Speak a little bit of Korean. Okay. It's just because my students are Korean. I picked it up. Right? So it's just a, a, you learn language not from school. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Well, not, I mean, not, not necessarily from school, but just from not studying, right? If okay. I, yeah, if I just pick up, pick up English, uh, it's, I, I didn't try to do it. It just happened. It was kind of a mm, Okay. Thing. Yeah. And also pick it up from home, like for example, your parents speak English or speak Cantonese. Yes. Or... Mm -hmm. So, of course, anytime that we, have parents, right? We pick up, um, yeah, you know, we pick everything up from our parents, right? Even the yeah. habits, um, the good words, the bad words. Uh, yeah, we also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, thank I won't you. say what my daughter said today, but she did. She's three years old and she said, right? So I was like, oh. but she picked it up from me because I. Yeah. Uh, Hear me from you. I mean, you know, sometimes if I'm talking to my friends or something and they're there, you know, they, they pick that stuff up. They don't yes. have to, yeah, they don't have to learn it. They just, they just acquire it. They just pick it up and they listen and they pay attention and then they see us and then they try to copy us. Yeah. Mm. Copy or pronounce. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's it for like l reading children's books. Um, of course, reading any book is good for you. If you guys are upper intermediate, if you guys are advanced, of course, just pick up a normal book. Um, mm -hmm. um, but but at the same time, it doesn't have to be like a novel. It doesn't have to be a native speaker, or like a you know um, Da Vinci Code or anything like that. It doesn't have to be a really difficult yeah. book. Uh, children's me, books. Unfortunately, I have to. Yeah, maybe you have to. Your teacher says you have to, or something. Oh, okay. Oh. But children's books will teach you as much as a novel. You know, the, the language is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Language. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So we have about 20 minutes left. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Anything? Yeah, Mike. 
uh, I have a question about the will be the grammar I using. I write down uh, see? I sorry will be uh yeah will will be uh, direct use not will uh, oh, uh, uh, I, I will work home. I will be working home. What's the difference? I will work it's home. A little bit, little bit difficult to hear you. Can you tell me one more time? Uh, I will work home. And uh, another sentence, I will be working home. These two? See mini? No. No? So, okay. So, again, I will walk home. Okay. This is a decision. Right? Yeah. This is a decision. Oh, should yeah. I take a car? Should I? Hey, hey, um, hey, oh. Emma, I'll I'll drive you home. She goes, no, 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 no. I will walk home. Right. I I mm. speak and I decide at the same time. So remember when we use will, we speak and we decide. Yeah. At the same time, right? Let's just oh. talk about yeah future future. Um, obviously, Mike YouTube. We have like at least two or three. ULC has like two or three videos about future, um, so you can watch that. Um, if you don't want to watch ULCs, there's millions of other videos on there. Um, but yeah, when we use will is for a decision, right? Something not future, um, just for a decision. Now we'll be walking. Okay, we'll be walking is called future uh, future continuous. Uh, we'll be walking is is future continuous. Um, now we use future continuous just like we use present continuous. Okay, so if I talk about this class, okay, this class is one forty to two forty. Now is two twenty. So I'd say I am teaching. Right now I am teaching today. Okay, today, but on this is today. But then we look at Friday, okay, from 140 to 240, and you say, hey, Matt, can I, I, can I call you at 2 p.m.? I say no, no. because I'll... You will be teaching? Teaching. I will be teaching. It's called Future yeah. Continuous. So just like on Monday, right? Right, if this is Monday, right? You can say, hey, Matt, I called you at two o'clock. Oh, sorry, I was teaching. Right, sorry, I was teaching. I am teaching. I will be teaching. Mm -hmm. All have the same meaning, just the time is different, right? The time changes. So yeah. past I was teaching, now I am teaching. On Friday at this time, I will be teaching. So different oh, meaning. yeah, yeah, I got it. So uh, I will be working home after class. We yeah. can. Yeah, I'll be working from home. Uh, I'll be working from home after mm. class. It's fine. But again, we want to make sure when we talk about any continuous tense, we have to have a specific time, okay? We have to have that specific, that specific time. Now, the good news is with present continuous, the specific time is always now. Mm -hmm. now, 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 now. The specific time is always now. But we yeah. take, with past continuous, we take now and we move it to the past. With future continuous, we take now and we move it to the future. Future yeah. now, 
Mm. What will I be doing at future now? Right? Yeah. If I can fast forward my life, if I can time travel, which I can't, um, yeah, then I will, I will decide that. Good question, Mike. Wow. Great, great. You explained them uh, very clearly. <laughs> I confused a lot, lot time. <laughs> Teacher, Mike. Okay. Good job. Any other, anybody, any other questions? Anything? English, life. What do you want to talk about? You keep, you keep going. <laughs> anybody? Mike, you can ask me a hundred questions. Snower's got a question. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I want to know uh, what time the City Hall classroom will open. <laughs> I very miss that classroom. Oh. City Hall. Probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, July, I hope. Why is City Hall? July, I think. Okay. City Hall and Marty. Okay. City Hall and Marty. Yeah. City okay. Hall. Oh, City Hall and Marty. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> New first Sunday, I okay. What? No, I just see a picture about the, I, I, I yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to connect my AirPods. So, sorry. AirPods. AirPods. Mm. If they, uh, mm, um, my teacher is Mark. I have, I with, Mm, I study with uh, Susan. We have uh, the same teacher as Mark, uh, and then it's very good. Uh, he is very, uh, how to say, uh, every time he give me uh, give us the homework, reading homework, and read the, read the lovely and uh, send it to him. <laughs> to I know Mark. Mark's amazing. Oh. Mark's that's okay. yeah. a great teacher. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's a great teacher. And Mark really loves teaching online. <laughs> <laughs> he can stay at home. That's right. Yeah, he can stay at home. Oh. <laughs> you know, some people, some people have different, you know, personalities, right? Some people yeah. are. Yeah. What? You know, introvert. Very creative. Introvert. I mean, extrovert. Indoor, indoor person. <laughs> yeah, he's also very enjoying so take Intro, online in, class. Introvert. Extro. Introvert. So you know, they don't like to go out. They, you know, they like to keep their emotions inside, right? They don't like to, you know, extrovert. Everything time. is in. You know, I'm an extrovert. I'm extrovert. So I see someone like, hey, how are you? What's your name? Nice to meet you. You know, Mark's a little bit shy the first time you meet him, the second time, the third time. You know. Um, really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, teacher is different, right? When you close the room and you're like a teacher, you have to be. Okay. You have to be an extrovert. But I think his. Yeah, yeah his natural. Make, yeah, his make natural. Okay, yeah. Yeah, is uh is an introvert so i think he likes staying at home and you know it's i i don't know i like it too i some, i'm both right you don't have to be mm. yeah yeah i'm i'm both <laughs> you know, sometimes you can be you can be both yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. stay at home can play some game <laughs> with online play game that's interesting yeah, play game or just you know I don't if I don't want to shower I don't have to shower or you know I can cook I can eat what I want so yes. I don't worry, I shower yeah I shower today. you can cook wash hair <laughs> which you food which food you cook which then uh me you cook today uh, yesterday cook I cook the snower I'm gonna make cauliflower soup cauliflower soup yeah today snower I'm gonna make cauliflower pizza are you yeah, vegetarian? So I, no. So I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I mean the 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 base is cauliflower, not mm. flour. You mean the 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 the? I know base. the. the yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. The piece made by flour, flour, by oh, yourself. Flour. Flour. Oh. Not flour. 
cauliflower. 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 So, you love it. Do your belly is uh, on fair freeze or you buy your, your, your design by yourself? Yeah. Cauliflower. cauliflower. Yeah, it's white. This is cauliflower. So, I'm going to make the pizza base from cauliflower. Oh, oh it's very healthy. It's I think. different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what, Emma, or whoever said that, it tastes the same. It's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, healthy. It's the same? Like mix pizza? The herbs. Maybe you mi mix, mix, uh, mix this vegetable with flour. You know, only, only this? Cauliflower. cauliflower and cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese. oh my god. Oh, I don't know cheese. how to love and cheese. some meat. Oh my god. <laughs> well, of course, yeah, of course. On top, I will put like you know the Pickle? the sauce. What kind of sauce are you putting? Maybe tomato. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. A pizza. Tomato sauce. Of course, tomato sauce. What are you talking about? Tomato oh, sauce. Kind of sauce. Everything is the same. Okay? Tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, mushrooms, whatever. But the, just the base oh. is made of cauliflower. <laughs> oh. It's good for you. It's low carb. So I'm trying yeah. to lose low calorie. <laughs> low calorie. Yeah, I also try it low carb. Tomorrow. Low carb. Yeah. I'm trying to lose some weight. Because I'm good. a little bit fat. I'm a little bit fat now because of the quarantine. <laughs> so before I go back to school, I wanna, you know, I wanna be a little bit, you know, I don't wanna have a big yeah. belly. <laughs> 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 Do you like some steak? I love steak, yeah, steak. So recently I've just been eating like chicken breast and steak mm. and meat and vegetables and <sighs> I hate it. I, I really it. hate it. Steak is healthy or not? I think so. Okay. Ah, healthy I don't know, but if you <laughs> only eat meat and vegetables, you'll lose weight. You stop eating rice and pasta and stuff like that. And so easy. To but that is only for a short term. Yeah, you're right. Only, only for short term. term. Yeah. yeah, that's all I care. I only want for a short term. Short term After fix. That? <laughs> short term. You know, it's like a, I'm like a, you know, up and down, you know? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Between 75 and 80 kilograms, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is usually. Wow, you I'm can give five kilo and uh, lose fitting. five kilo. You oh almost God. double of me. Shut up. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> okay. Well, that's normal for a man. I mean, it's normal. I'm sharing this on YouTube Live, okay? I'm 80, right now I'm 80 kilograms, okay? Right now. Okay. 80. I think it's okay. 80. Yeah. 80, okay. 80, okay. 80 pounds. Tall. Not 80 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's underweight. You, you wish, you wish to 18 pounds. That's no. right. <laughs> that will be anorexic. Anorexic, yeah. yeah. I like 72 to 75. I'm okay with that. Bye bye. No. Hi, Snower. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Go read some children's books. Epic. Oh, now I have a class. And after that. <laughs> you will have a class after this class. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. By Mark? 240. Yeah, with Mark. Oh, okay. Mark. In the middle. Uh, Yukiko, you've been, you've been really quiet today. What's up? How are you? Ah. I'm good. Just listening, just acquiring. <laughs> yes. Acquiring English. Yeah. Acquiring. Oh, yeah. Acquiring. Like just you. picking it up. How are you? Good? Yes, good. Yeah. Good. Are you excited to study online for five more weeks? Yes. You don't yeah. mind studying online? You don't mind, right? Hmm? Do you like Sorry? studying online? Mm. You like I want to go, uh, go to school. Ah, yeah, me too. Like, go to school. <laughs> <laughs>
Me too. Yeah. Yeah. We're just waiting oh for so yeah. some days Normal. we can go back to school. Let's see. Yeah, Let's quickly. See. Maybe two weeks after two weeks. Oh yeah. No, 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 not two weeks. Huh? Well, one moment. Uh, more than that. I read the information about that. Maybe more than two at weeks. least uh, July, I think. So uh, again, June. Singapore. Singapore has three. Three phases, Pace. right? So oh, yeah. Yeah. Three steps. June 2nd, right? And then that yeah, will last about four phase. weeks. Yeah, I guess July. But again, it's four weeks if, if the number of cases continue to go down, right? Yeah. If coronavirus goes up again, this no way. <laughs> but now I understand. I can understand no. because so now every day it's just maybe one two person. I mean local people. Mm. Uh, why? Yeah. Why we blocked out everything? It's it's. I think it's a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I no. think, you know, in my honest opinion, I don't think the coronavirus is serious for us because mm -hmm. we're young and healthy. But I think the, the main reason why we have to do this is because if everybody gets the coronavirus tomorrow, then the hospitals can't. Yeah, you're right. It. So that's the only reason. Right. And that's a oh. good reason. So it's. Yeah. It's a little bit crazy, I, I think, because we could probably go out and I could get it and L could get it and these, you know, and mm -hmm. it, it would be fine. Like we would be okay because we're, you know, we're not 80 years old and we don't have respiratory illnesses. At the same time, I think it would be, yeah, it, it just, it would be really, really bad if a lot of people got it at the same time. So, yeah. And then we think about only one local only one local person got it right you know singaporean or pr of course the workers are also local because they're here yes. Um, yes but there's a lot of them so you know we can't let them die so if 500 locals get it and 500 workers get it right that's not good so yeah you're yeah. right so yeah so i you know i don't know i like the singapore government i trust the singapore government korea you guys did a great job <laughs> yeah oh? It's a very good job. Um, yeah, me too. I, I Korea, believe Taiwan. Welcome. You guys did a you guys did a good job. Singapore had it good, and then and then it wasn't good. Yeah, I think Singapore also does a good job. Yeah. Yeah, no, Singapore did a good, much better than the U.S. or Canada or something. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. But I think it's just a different uh, culture, you know, background. And yeah. Uh, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I think. Sorry. Uh, yeah. And different think... mentality. Yes, oh, yeah. you're right. Mentality. Real, <laughs> go on. Sorry. Uh because I, I think sometimes Korean government have more strong power. Um, most sure is good. Uh. Yeah, it will stay a good thing, but uh, this uh, situation, uh, this situation, it, this situation is happening, uh, Korean government is more softer. It's just, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you know, governments are not perfect. Yes. Probably, yes. Oh. probably mm -hmm. the opposite. Um, yes. Singapore's is pretty good, but... Yeah. Uh, but you know, if you talk to someone who doesn't like Singapore government, then they hate Singapore government. If mm. you talk to somebody who likes Singapore government, then they love Singapore government. So, yeah, you know, that's just you know subjective. And you know, again, forty forty eight percent of the U.S. voted for Trump. So, I mean, if you think that's a good idea, great. Um, but yeah, forty eight percent of people thought um. you know, Trump would should win. So pretty pretty crazy too yeah. yeah it's okay i just care about the result you know yeah I, I told i said that to my wife yesterday she was you know she just kind of said oh when's it gonna end and and i mm. said you know 
yeah, of course, everybody gets frustrated, me too. But, you know, I said it's only one year. Even if it's a year, mm. only a year. It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> only a year. One year is nothing, right? We live, you know, we live hopefully like 80 years, right? So, yeah. you know, one year is nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing insignificant. So very special experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like it. I Mom. hope it uh, happens. Uh, so maybe when I eighty, <laughs> not thirty. <laughs> At the same time, Emma, Emma, mm. I get to stay home and I get to like mm -hmm. watch movies and you know play video games. I don't have to go on the. I don't have to sit in traffic. I don't have to get on the MRT. I don't have to get on a bus. I don't have to buy lunch every day. Right? It's, it's nice. Nice. No. So there's there's good there's good things and bad things. Yes. Yeah. No this, I think. So, yeah. Who knows? Wow. Okay. Uh, anyone okay. have any questions or anything? No, I don't have. Oh, hi, FT. On my way. Uh, I don't know who that is, but hello. Mm. Let's, let's see. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So thank you guys. Okay. Thank, yeah, you, thank you. Appreciate I appreciate you coming yeah. and I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Elle. Good to see you. Thank Come you. back on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay. Everybody else too. You know, I like you guys too. So. All right. Let's end that. Eat some food. Hi, Mike. Hi. Yep, Bye. We'll eat some food. Yeah. Cauliflower pizza. Mm. <laughs> pizza. Okay. All right. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, FT on my way. You don't know how to find this stream. Well, it's on our Facebook page. Or just subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube. Click that little bell button. It'll notify you when we go live. Um, and that's, of course, helpful for everybody. Right? So why not just do that? Um, Emma, do you want to come say goodbye to everybody on YouTube? Nobody's there, but you can just say bye. You bye. What do you mean? Say bye. Bye. Do you, do you have any anything to say to nobody. the YouTube world? Nobody. Nobody. I know nobody's there. Only only Auntie Celine. <laughs> yeah. So. So bye YouTube. Thanks. Uh, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to like our page, right? And they have to subscribe, right? Okay, and I can also turn on those notifications. Uh, Celine said not auntie. She's older now, Celine. It was her birthday last week. Did you say happy birthday to her? Yeah. Why? Say happy birthday, Auntie Celine. <laughs> Do it. Say it. Happy birthday, Auntie Celine. <laughs> I gotcha. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks, Celine, for watching. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye, FT. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to end that.